Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see how to create the first project in Django framework. So in our previous session, we have seen what is a Django framework and what we can do and how to create the environment because without disturbing the existing uh, files. So we are creating the virtual environment and we are installing the Django framework in that particular virtual environment. Now we'll see how to create a web page and how to execute a web page. So one thing we have to remember, so we have to execute or run the server while imp implementing or designing the web page or executing the web page, right? So recalling the previous session, so in our previous video, I think you remember this one. So this Django framework, there will be a different files so one is a URL where it will be handling the different web pages. Okay. So whenever the user requests the URL, the URL decides the view, the corresponding view based upon the user request. And from the view, it will interact with the, or it will retrieve the data from the model. And also it will create a template which will be visible to the user on the web browser. So let us see the, uh, steps so first a user requests a web page using urls so before that let us enter into the virtual environment so we have created a virtual environment see we have created the virtual environment in the folder c users and in this username and uh, ENVS environments and this one Django project is the environment. So let us move on here. So CD ENVS, all right, and then CD Django project. So this is the environment. So in that there is a folder called scripts. So we have to move on with the scripts to activate the environment. So CD scripts. So here you have to use a command called activate so that we will enter into this particular project environment, virtual environment. So previously you can observe we are in C drive. Now we are in Django project, which is a virtual environment in order to execute the Django projects. Now let us create one project in this one. So in order to create one project, so the command is Django hyphen admin start project and here uh, let us take home or simply web page. Our project is a web page. Okay, so normal web page. So this is a command in order to create a project. See. Yes, the project has been created. Now you can verify. So web page, this is a directory. Now move on to this one, CD web page. And here you can find the manage.py which will be used for managing the complete Django framework, the complete project. So we have to run the server in the local host with the help of manage. So the command is Python manage.py run server so this is a command which is used to run the server in the local host so we are uh, making our own system as a server as well as a client because if you work on the website there will be a server and the client where the client will be sending the request to the server and server will respond to that particular request given by the client so you can see now uh, the server is in a running, right? So it, the home page of this Django framework is in this particular IP address followed by the port number. So go open the browser and let us check 127.0.0.1 colon 8080 is a port number. So you can see, yes. So the install worked successfully, yes. Now this implies we the in the back end, the server is running. Now, let us create a web page. Now, the environment is ready. Now, 
it's time to create the web page go to the vs code we'll be using the vs code for creating the uh, project so go to the file and select open folder okay open folder and select the folder which we have created just now that means a project which we have created in c drive in users in this username and in environments django project web page right so this is the folder we have to open in so select this one don't double click right so just select this one and click on select folder so it will be opened in our vs code so here you can see so web page init.py initialization file settings.py urls wsgi file so urls to navigate from one page to another web page right now in our previous session we have seen url from that url it will be redirected to the view that means the view will be selected now here there is no view so we have to create the view.py a views.py and in that views.py we have to create the logic so whatever the logic we want to uh, implement that should be written in views.py so here there is no views.py just create here so new file so title it as views.python.py so in this we have to write down the logic so two things we have to import first so one is render so render is used for retrieving the data from the database so as of now we are not retrieving any database but so we'll make a practice that import all those things so import django dot shortcuts import render so from that particular package we are importing the render class okay so from package import render class similarly one more thing from django dot http so always it will be http request and response right http import http response so we need to import these two things okay so http response is for getting the response from the server so now whatever the web pages we want to create that should be written here in terms of user defined functions so before learning this django framework you must be aware of functions classes and packages so i'll post the link in the description so you just follow that one and learn how can we write the user defined functions and what exactly mean the package or a module or a class and then you will be able to understand this particular simple logic this is a very simple logic so from the packages we are importing the modules or we can import either module or a class or function whatever it may be right so now we have to write the web pages in terms of functions right so def the user defined function in python will start with the def followed by the name i will write here home and it will get the request from the url so you have to pass a parameter called a request okay and it will return the response usually the client whenever you are speaking about the client server there will be a request and response so a request from the client and response from the server so treat it as a server right this will be available in the server so you will get a request from the client that means from url.py so whenever you are getting the client i mean uh, the request from the client that request will be handled by this particular home function and it will return so the function always returns something right so returns http response so obviously it will give a response and here you can write it so this is my first web page web page using django framework right so this is the only thing i have written right now we have to 
make this particular URL in this urls.py. So for that, go to the urls.py and import that one from dot views. Dot means everything will be imported, right? So import and home. So what is the name here we have given? Home, right? So that name should be imported here. That function, we are importing that function from this views module. And also we have to link the path in the URL patterns in order to execute. So just leave blank so that it will be the home page. And what is what to be done? So which is a home and give the name for that web page. That name can be anything, right? So you can give an index as a name, right? And make sure always it should end with a comma. It's a list, okay? URL patterns is nothing but a list. And this list should be ends with a comma itself. You should give a comma. Make sure that. And now completed, we have done, right? We have created one web page. So here we have written some home page. What should be uh, printed? or displayed on the web browser and we are making this function in this urls.py now go to the browser and refresh the same so you will be getting the content which you have written there it will be displayed here okay so here you can give the complete uh, tags the html tags so here i'll give h1 and also I'll give H1. So I'm giving the H1 tag, right? H1 is for heading. Now, just refresh. See, this is a H1. And similarly, you can give bold and italic. Sorry, bold. I'll give a bold here. Bold. And I'll use here italic. I and django i now you can check so whatever the thing we are creating everything will be reflected in our web browser yes so So here you can give the complete HTML pages, so HTML tags, so that we can display the complete content on the screen or the web browser. Okay, yes. So just if, if it is not working properly, just uh, quit the server and again restart. So control C to come out from the exit the server and again you can run the server by using the same python manage.py run server. So once again it will be restarted right again go to the browser and you can use here. Okay so here we have taken h1 so you can remove that h1. and check here bold yes it's a bold so like this you can create a one more page so i'll write here one more function with a name subscribe here the request And here I'll write I'll write some content. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe, right? So we have to import the same function in the URLs also. So here home comma subscribe, right? And also we have to write a one more path for that. So here I'll give slash subscribe some name you have to give and you have to give the function name and here I'll give it as ty 
thank you right so now let us open the browser and this is a home and give slash subscribe you can go with the subscribe so okay sorry so let us check here yes so you can see here we have to give the name okay the path and the function name and name here and not you need not give the subscribe here so you can give here contact okay and we have to use the same thing here after slash go with the contact then you'll get thank you don't forget to subscribe and if you remove this contact we'll get the home page this is my first web page using django framework so like that we have to give a multiple pages in a different uh, functions use the defined functions and we have to import all these functions in urls and we have to give a path to this urls so now again go to this uh, architecture so whenever the user sends the request to the server so it will select the view so here we are giving a view in the urls right so it will select the view and from the view if it requires it will get the data from the database and it will arrange the data on the template with the help of html tags in order to display on the web browser so this is what happens here so this is the path we are giving for the web pages and here we are writing all the logic the complete logic so http response and request this is the most important so whenever we get the request it will be returned with the help of response that's a simple thing so for that you need to import the two uh, classes or modules the render and the http response that's it so this is he in this video just we have seen how can we create a simple web page a simple web page and how can we execute that web page and make sure the server should be in a running position see here the server is in running position then only you can able to execute the web pages in your local host right yeah so hope you understood this one and uh, i'll stop here we'll discuss more in our the next sessions right so if you are having any queries regarding this process feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much